Leo? Leo. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. That's your days. That's a good boy, Leo. Good dog. You such a good baby. I'm so proud of my honey doggy. Who's the good boy? Oh, yes. That's a good boy. You stay. Place. Good. See, look at this. Good. Look at that eye contact. He feels the pressure. Not sure what to do. Good doggy. Good. You okay. You did great. You did great. You did amazing. Gosh, good baby. I'm so proud of you. Good doggy. You stay. He's really new to this concept of stay, obviously. But I'm throwing it in there in these obvious moments. Okay, let's walk away and see what he does. See, we, we're, we're intending for him to actually step out and make a mistake so he can learn what happens. So therefore, he's not going to want to come out unless he's uh, offered out by us anymore. So therefore, there's no stress about wanting to come out. So that's going to see whining or barking and that. Looking good, bud. Who is, who is it? it? Throw some triggers in there. Good boy. Who is my baby boy? And I'm going to teach him when he can come out because that'll also be a point of stress. I was wondering if you know when? Leo. Break. Woo! Leo! Break. Yeah, Leo! Uh, he's, he's definitely actually quite smart when it comes to putting things together. Uh, but he just didn't know how to listen, really. <laughs> or should I say, didn't want to listen. Maybe not even know how, exactly. Like, because you have to, there's some skill. Good boy. Good boy, yes, yes, taking our time, letting him see my gestures. When I say good boy, I give a thumbs up. That means I'm very happy with what you did. When I do this and say break, that means you're, you're free. So he's learning all these, uh, these mannerisms that I have. He's really paying attention, he's really taking it all in. Good boy. Break. Woo, Lily, Yay! Good boy. Shake it off. The shake and the happiness is that he understands, oh, I understand what they're saying now. Good. Now, Leo, place. You know, there's no pressure on here. I haven't done anything with the e collar other than one little click over there for not uh, paying attention to me. Good boy. But he's understanding. Good boy. Stay. I'm going to try to push him out here. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hi. Place. And now look, just real gentle on the collar here. Place. See, he's taking that in. He's listening. Okay, these are memorable, good, these are memorable reps. Good boy, that means they stick. I don't have to do, you know, 600 of these things. He's gonna understand. Good boy, look at the icon. He's saying, I'm taking everything in right now. Good. Because the mind is not doing this to earn, it's doing it to avoid, there's, it's very open. Because the brain needs to be open if there's what is perceived aversive or perceived danger, if you will. The brain is gonna be open in a way that it's not with just getting the same old tree over and over again. That means he's retaining this. You can see it in his eyes. He's taking in when I say stay. Okay, that means this, that means this. It's more real. It's more, I need to learn these skills because my survival depends on it. That's how the natural world works. So that's why we using it this way, it really sticks. These lessons really stick. You repeat them a few times, they stick, okay? Good, you see it sticking right there, okay? Good. Who is oh, it? Look, good, look, you see this look here. Everybody's worried about this look, this look that the dog's doing. This look is, I, I'm i not entirely sure what's, what's right and what's wrong, but I'm taking guesses here. Once he gets and understands it, that all goes away. This whole this whole walking on the eggshells goes away, and we're proving that with him. Every time he gets an answer right, we see him shaking, his tail wagging, confident stance. This is day one. Put, day, put days and put a week in front of this two weeks in front of us, three weeks, four weeks, we got a confident dog who understands the system, okay? Good, so this is totally natural. Good, and let's not forget that he's holding himself back to doing what his first impulse is, which means this guy's got a pretty good head on his shoulders because a lot of dogs would just be a wreck from that. <laughs> I can't go out the door and the, main, the brain just malfunction and they start shivering and breaking down and it takes a few days for them to start to come out. This guy's actually got a pretty stable mind uh, that he's able to start changing so quickly. I mean, what do you say? That yeah, it's not adapting. as bad as I would think. You know, you hear small dog, you hear crazy, you, you think, okay, it's going to be a complete nut job. It's not all that bad. He, he's a brat. He cares about the hierarchy. He's aware of it and all this stuff. Uh, but pretty stable. 
You know, other than being insecure and overreacting and nipping and going crazy with the barks, after a correction, I see a very clear mind. I see a guy who's thinking a lot clearer than most dogs who are here at day one. Okay, but look, he's learning. By staying there is rewarding. Why is it rewarding? Because it escapes the aversive. So that means it inherently is going to be rewarding. On top of that, I'm saying go boy and giving him social and then also praise. This will change this dog very quickly. Good boy. Break. Yeah, Leo. Good, good dog. Job. Let's see that. Hi, and now boy. he did it. And that's what we call a good baby boy. That's what we call a good baby boy. Yeah, it's a very nice boy. So his association to the kennel is going to be different, hopefully, because the way that who is, I'm involved in introducing it and the way he sees me is, um, is me being his leader, hopefully. Hopefully he sees me as as a dog, or as a person who can set boundaries. So I don't know if he's going to try to strike at me ever in here, but if he does, we will let you know. And if it is gonna happen, it's either gonna happen immediately, which it hasn't happened yet, uh, it could happen within the first day, you know, uh, or he'll wait a little while until he feels comfortable, call it the honeymoon phase, the dog feels more comfortable, then they start showing it. And that can happen almost two weeks in, you know? So, um, but oftentimes we don't see these things because like I said, they are a symptom of the core issue, right? A um, little pressure there. There it is, it's real mild. Place. Good dog. Good dog. Good. Good eye contact, beautiful eye contact, good. He's saying that eye contact is saying, what should I be doing instead? And I'm saying good, meaning you're doing it. Staying right there and looking at me for direction is, is like half the battle here. This, what you're doing right here is half the battle. The rest is gonna be teaching some very easy stuff. It's hard to teach a dog because dogs don't want, they're not interested in learning and when they are, they're too excited and it's like, it's all a state of mind thing. If I can teach him how to, this, this perfect state to be in where he's calm and taking direction, it comes a lot easier. Where we're gonna have the hiccups is when we're out and you're seeing triggers that are going to send them into the old associations and then I have to start start uh, correcting those responses. That's why you gotta see a professional. Good boy. Very beautiful stuff. Let him sit. We'll see how he does on the next session. We'll repeat the same stuff.